siap ya sama oke mutia siapa sih mutia tuh perkenalkan diri uh, gue mutia well as known as mutsi um, <laughs> i'm a polaroid photographer i usually use uh, polaroid originals phones and cameras i moved to toronto when i was like 16 Um, worked in New York, which is impossible. Uh, possible project slash Polaroid originals. Uh, back and forth, and then gue baru for good like last year. It's kind of good busy in Jakarta. Okay, I got my first camera when I was 14. Uh, it was like the old one, the 600 box uh, camera, and at that um, at that time like. The film was still impossible project PX I guess. So <laughs> itu tuh yang kayak lo tau lo pernah dapet kan? Yeah, yang yeah. it was the blue one and it was the warm one and then like the cool cool one and then it 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 was it was really really a shitty time of Polaroid. I mean I'm sorry I love impossible project. Um and then itu tuh kayak filmnya I think it was like four hundred thousand. in 2012 di sini oh, yeah. dan kayak no, 2012, 2010, 2011 2011 kayak itu mahal banget and then kayak with the humidity and then also kayak it was really hard you have to like shade it like mm-hmm. apa namanya shade it and then kayak it develops in like 40 minutes terus ya udah fast forward gue pindah ke Toronto films was film, films were abundant kayak gue dapet film itu banyak banget and then gue akhirnya coba-coba lagi, coba-coba terus and at that time juga Impossible Project juga lagi um, research and development lah about their films so I ended up um, collecting a lot of films itu pun yang kayak masih ya foto sama temen lah or like foto apa? masih gratisan masih yang kayak foto-foto lo instax keluar gimana sih terus um, sampai at one point my friends who were who studied in uh, at La Salle Singapore he, she wanted to do a, a an end school project which she thought of like doing it with my uh, films and I hoarded like Buat thousand of them. Iya, yeah, buat tugas akhirnya dia. Terus akhirnya gue, gue bikin that, that we 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 made that dress and then we essentially got interviewed by Nylon and then I was in New York in 20 in early 2013 and then went to their art space. So dari dulu tuh Impossible Project ada art space nya. and met my um, my mentor at that time terus dia bilang yang kayak, oh my god, you're the girl who made the Polaroid dress <laughs> and that's when she was like, you should work with us like, you're in Toronto, you should work with us for the summer I went there for the summer um, interned there and then suddenly they extended it for a whole year internship aja gitu terus, at that point, gue juga belum professionally Uh, foto tapi gue got my first SLR camera so this is the camera yeah, yeah. <laughs> camera <laughs> SLR so this is not the SX70 it's um, the 600 camera oh my god um, dan ya udah ini gue gue dapat di 2013 dan gue uh, pakai ini professionally jadinya sampai sekarang Um, apa? Iya. Yeah. <laughs> um, terus gue akhirnya uh, started doing exhibitions for some reason. Kayak a lot of my um, ment- uh, all my mentors were in lumography and then there was some of them still in the possible project juga. Terus kayak ngajak gue, "Halo, exhibition lo bikin 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 something gitu." Dan that's when I started to like play around with the idea of like collage and polaroids gitu apalagi gue I saw the David Hockney exhibition when I was in New York and ya udah gue awalnya juga sama teman-teman gue gitu fotonya itu and 
I did with Lamography Instax at that time, and then I did one with uh, Polaroid juga. Uh, gue pernah waktu itu di Lomography New York, Juichi Gatsu Gallery di apa namanya di oh, was it uh, Tokyo, and then the other one was in uh, Jakarta yang pas acara. Oh, yeah, I saw it. That was the dress and then a couple of like the collage. We did. Huh? Did. <laughs> well, di Jakarta tuh udah ke post sama Instax. Mm-hmm. And Instax is just like your pocket camera atau kayak your um, you know, point and shoot camera aja gitu. Yeah. Itu kan kayak enak banget. Lo bisa bawa kapan aja and then lo juga kayak settingannya juga kayak langsung bikin lo cantik, langsung bikin lo yeah. bagus gitu kan jadi kayak udah terlalu, dan enaknya emang si Instax tuh kayak gue uh, gue really really appreciate Instax because their film itu nggak akan pernah expire expire, mm, expire sih akan, yeah. tapi kayak ancurnya itu loh kayak the oh. thing with Polaroid, you can get like that weird streaks yeah. you can get like a really weird like colors in the end gitu kayak um, Lo akan monoton gitu. That is like that's that's insect color gitu. Jadi selalu stabil aja. Tapi um, buat Polaroid sih, a lot of apa ya? A lot of people are actually interested aja sebenarnya gitu. Kayak gue lihat di pasar baru banyak banget yang yang jual old, the old cameras gitu. Dan again yang paling susah tuh ya cuma film sebenarnya di sini. Mahalnya itu ya? Iya, uh-uh, mahalnya itu ya di sini. <tuh> Kayaknya gue dari dulu mungkin karena background gue juga Apa ya, suka suka nari And then kayak juga pas Dulu tuh main last FM, anjir <tuh> Oh iya <Yeah. Good> <tuh> Main last FM, and then kayak Dulu tuh di Indo tuh kayak yang datang tuh Maroon 5, Chris Brown, and all that stuff And then I moved to um, di Toronto tuh gue bisa datang kayak dulu Toro Imoa was was 2011 tuh Toro Imoa lagi hype hype-nya and then it was only like 15 bucks gitu. Jadi gue kayak pas di Toronto tuh benar-benar every fucking weekend gue selalu concert hopping aja gitu kan. Terus you actually went to festivals gitu kan. Kayak kayak dulu tuh at least festival yang paling dekat apa sih dan yang di Singapura Lane Way. Lane Way gitu and like Ya, yeah, dulu masih yang hassle lah, and then yaudah gitu And uh, actually Toronto is really big on like techno scene Karena si Richie Houghton yeah. uh, no. is from, not from Toronto, but it's like close by Jadi kayak, itu energinya ya beda banget aja Kayak lo, lo nonton party, techno party di sana gitu um, Terus kenapa DJ, jadi kayak Actually teman-teman gue juga yang pas gue tinggal di Toronto tuh they're, Mostly DJs, gitu. Um, and um, I reached out a couple of like people that I really really like, like Jacques Green, to uh, one of my dear friend. Dia juga um, lagi waktu itu juga lagi struggling lah, gitu. So di terus kan di Kanada, kayak baru 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 lah, baru mm-hmm. artis baru kan. So we kind of connect again, and then like I shot for his like EP album, and then. Yeah, that goes from there. And he has a lot of connections. We went to Baltra, and then like um, Daniel Caesar was like a good friend of mine. And then Toronto was like such a small city. Jadi kayak everybody knows each other. So that's when like kesebar aja gitu. Like my name itu kesebar. And then I got into the OVO, which is like I shot Majid Jordan, and then um, Division as well. And then from that on, kayak. People start, started to know me, and people started to like um, appreciate what I do. Uh, tapi ya emang kebanyakan jadinya it's all DJs, and I really like and bound to happen. Okay, I really like their music juga. Foto pertama gue professionally sih. Okay, I would say si Louis Rustam. He's a hip hop, uh, hip hop artist from Copenhagen. And dia uh, officially invite gue ke sana gitu, officially invite gue ke sana, dan bener-bener kayak 
gue kasih the apa ya the proposal of what I had in mind which is like the collage and everything mm-hmm. tapi gue belum benar-benar kayak bisa banget gitu kan mm-hmm. terus ya udah gitu um, dia benar-benar apa ya appreciate gue and take 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 his time juga take my time juga gitu dan gue waktu itu juga kerjanya sendiri kan jadi gue bawa bawa film gue bawa bawa beberapa kamera gue juga nggak cuman pakai polaroid juga um, and kayak apa ya ya gue deg-degannya juga ada apanya ada tapi kayak ya yeah, first time terus gue lihat emang wow not bad for a first timer gitu <laughs> ya gue nggak bisa pinpoint sih yang paling susah yang paling like, susah di approach gitu kan Sebenarnya approach is not, it's never been a problem. Tapi kayak uh, mungkin time constraint kali ya. Kayak gue sejak balik ke sini tuh kayak I don't have that um, apa ya leisure atau capability of like actually talking with the artist gitu untuk hey lo maunya apa sih kayak what's what's in your mind gitu. Karena gue selalu selalu suka gue selama ini kayak pas di New York itu it's all about a collaboration gitu. It's all about like their ideas and vision as well and how am I gonna represent it in my art juga kan. Jadi mungkin kayak di Indo susahnya dan kayak if you see kayak ya itu akan jadi monoton aja cuma si 3 4 collage itu gua enggak ada kayak that um apa ya uh that that opportunity to actually get to know them and actually work on like what they want or like what they're um, really like gitu wall gue sih pas di Toronto my Polaroid wall oh iya yeah, yeah. karena itu bener-bener sisa-sisaan mereka semua itu juga kayak bukan the best of the best tapi gue itu bisa di juga? mungkin Gak bukan ada. collage tapi lo bisa lihat kayak gradasi warna dari yeah, yeah. itunya sih Siapa sih yang paling lu inspirasi ya? Atau berapa orang lain? Atau cuma lu doang di dunia ini? Gak, gak, gak David Hockney obviously started the collage um, mm-hmm. with the SX70 Ya lu tau lah itu yang ga, apa sih, si... That Polaroid, uh, I don't know what's the, what's the title but it's, very, it's really really famous And then the Italian photographer Maurizio Galimberti, dia Um, shot uh, a portrait juga and collage juga and uh, uh, artist juga gitu he shot uh, Johnny Depp and then Lady Gaga and it's even bigger so they're they really really inspired uh, my work. Gue pengen banget foto selam sih kayak gue suka selam itu dari awal dia um, Haley Street album. just like 2008 apa kalau enggak salah. Jadi kayak I really see her growing gitu and sampai bikin si the record label Sin Records sampai yang album kemarin ya dan gua ngerasa dia benar-benar put her soul to her artwork. So I feel like she really inspires me on how being how to become a really good artist but also like being passionate about what you do and being a female as well, especially. And then, um, I would say, one of my uh, really, really favorite techno boy band, Fiat. Yeah. Yeah. Fiat teach me how to like have fun with my work, gitu loh. Yeah, actually enjoy what you do, actually like be chill about it. And that's what I really, um, Like about my work juga kayak gue selalu kayak oke okay, leave it to the Polaroids to do its ma- to do its magic I just see. Tapi so far kalau tiga lagi boleh nggak sih nggak usah boleh. artis. Boleh. I feel like Jakarta and New York inspires me in both ways kayak the environment and how kayak New York is so so busy New York like the energy is different and then Jakarta juga kayak hektik banget and then like sama New York. Ya sama lah maksudnya enggak sama banget tapi kayak ya udahlah ya. reminds me of New York. Jadi kayak the business the hectic and how kalau gue ngeliat Polaroid gue tuh kayak 
ya satu film and then to another film gitu kayak ya itu beda cerita lagi beda 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 warna lagi beda beda gambar lagi kan jadi kayak ya lo lihat lah kayak di Jakarta banyak banget like every narrative every every apa namanya every story is different so, um, and then you kind of like take us one step or two step back to see it as a whole and that's how like I see it with all my work like you just can't see one picture and zoom in you have to like two or three steps back to like see a bigger picture out of it uh, you can find me on Instagram at Mutsi it's M-U-T-C-Y or my website what website is mutsi.com um, yeah you can contact me there feel free to like say hi to me through your DMs or um, send me a really nice email kalau untuk pameran nih terakhir tanya terakhir pameran yang akan datang kapan dan gimana we are I am Um, so, working on it right now somewhere in Jakarta. Um, tapi uh, details and everything you saw aja. But I will definitely will let your phone know about it. Okay. Thank you, Mut. Thanks, Dan. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Dah. Oh.